Okay, so part two, amygdala balance. So running that central meridian, we're going to try to calm down fight, flight, rage, anger, escape, submission, freeze, pain, punishment, circuits. We'll just sort of see where this goes. Okay, so specifically linking in to any and all amygdala patterns running. Specifically linking in to any and all amygdala patterns no longer serving me. Asking my body to act calmly, sensibly, evenly under stress and pressure where appropriate. Okay. So I'm just going to check little areas of the unconscious pattern and sort of see what shows up. So first little area showing up is the anterior cingulate gyrus. So the anterior cingulate gyrus wants us to be perfect under stress. There's an escape, submission, freeze pattern in the amygdala associated with that, which means the brain would rather escape rather than being found out of not being perfect under stress. So when we cannot respond because we want something to be more, per we want ourselves to be more perfect under stress and we pick on ourselves about the way we have responded under stress, it's a sign that that little anterior cingulate gyrus is well and truly overworking. That's pulsing nicely. Okay, the next little one showing up is the orbitofrontal cortex. Okay, that one's locked into fear, threat, danger. There's a little connection in underneath the logical and the creative hemispheres of the brain. And there's this circuit and it takes six seconds to move through that gyrus. And six seconds is phenomenal in the brain. And what it's waiting for is some logical and creating or logical and creative pathways to kick into action when we're under stress and pressure. Because if we're in a subconscious or unconscious fear, fight, flight, freeze pattern, our brain knows that we're under duress when we are making a decision and it doesn't like us making, under, making decisions under duress. Okay, subcostal gyrus is also showing up. Okay, balls of the feet, beautiful. Okay, this one's rage, anger, frustration. When we're feeling depressed or low, we internalize that. When it come, and that's liver energy. When we're when it's coming out, it's gallbladder energy. So subclossal gyrus is like the anterior cingulate gyrus and the orbitofrontal gyrus. The three of those are all involved in up to seven generations of how we cope with stress and pressure. On my Facebook page a day or two ago, it was the anniversary of the Sunday, Bloody Sunday in Ireland. And one of my uncles was actually there 51 years ago. Apparently we have a little bit of a uh, history of standing up for our rights in our family rather than just going with the flow and allowing ruler class to rule. Let's go and have a look. Beautiful. That's calmed down. Okay. Next little area showing up is the reticular activating system. So I'm amygdalarizing all of these. So the first one is the low serotonin. Right. And second one is vigilance. So in that moment with the motorbike, it activated the amygdala, that vigilance. I can still feel it, but it's calming down. Because your reticular activating system will deliberately switch off your serotonin. if it actually wants you to be vigilant. 
and it wants us to be vigilant when our life's in danger. It wants us to be vigilant if a pain and punishment circuit's going to happen again. It wants us to be vigilant if we're not taking care of ourselves and allowing damaging patterns to continue. Okay, there's another reticular activating circuit. Okay, so this one's noradrenaline, the assumption of stress long term. And once again, creating vigilance. Before I started, the flower essence that is still showing up for me is Silver Princess. Silver Princess is for when we're not allowing ourselves to shine, when we want to shut ourselves away and not be out there to the world, not speak our truth, not say what we know to be our divine right, our divine light. So Silver Princess just helps us to connect to that inner voice, connect to that inner guidance and start making decisions consciously many times for the first time in our life. The amount of times I've had clients in my clinic and I've said, well, what do you do for you? You know, where is your fun? Where is your soul guidance in life? And people burst into tears because they've never, ever thought about it. So this is six drops. That's a huge drop. So that means that's a pattern that I've been carrying for much of my life. Okay, beautiful souls. Take care and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.